Tracer's Edge for Rookies. We're going to do a tip of the month. I'm going to basically teach you how to set up some constituent fields in a batch screen. A lot of people who use the batch module, uh, they probably just go in there, search for a name, but it don't realize that you have the ability of putting all these fields from a constituent record to verify that you have the right person, and it makes life a lot easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my batch screen right here. You'll notice on the right hand side, a lot of you may have this section where it says field and value, and some of you probably don't. Well, if you want to see people as you're adding gifts and see the fields on their record, you have the ability of setting this up by coming over to here where it says constituent, and you'll see this option at the bottom that says define constituent fields. You guys see that? Now when you click that, you have two setups here. One is for an individual and one is for an organization. Now right now, if you take a look, you'll see that my fields for title one, first name and last name match with what I see over here. But I can choose to opt to add additional fields. So let's say I want to come in here and I want to add other things like uh, uh, the suffix. See how I can just move it over and maybe I want to see the salutations of the person and the addressee, you know, how their mail is going to get sent to them. Or maybe I want to verify that the address they have on the record is the same as the one that's on the check. So I can come down to this address field. See what I'm doing? I'm basically just adding the fields that I want to see. So I'm going to put address line city. We'll do state. We'll do zip. I can even put phone number and phone number type. Now, there's all kinds of fields that you can put here. Anything that is on a biographical record, you can pretty much choose to put over there. So if it's something that you want to verify, another good one might be their constituency code. A lot of people have problems with gift constituency codes not being put in correctly. So now as I put all these fields over, you'll notice that I can scroll down and I can see them all. And I can also change their order. So if I wanted to see something uh, above something else, I can highlight it. And I could take, for instance, constituency code and using these arrows, I can move it up to where I think I want to see it. So maybe I'll put it above the address C and salutation. Another good thing to do is to put the spouse record. So if there is a spouse, uh, you can make sure the salutation is correct as well. So after I've said OK, now watch what happens. This field over here populates. And now every field that I chose to put over here is available. You see that? All right, so let's go and we're going to basically add a record. Now, let's say my very first gift in the batch is from, well, let's go pick anybody out of the database. So I'll just do a couple options. Uh, who's going to come up? Uh, I'm just going to grab anybody. Uh, OK, so, well, let's do an individual. That's not a good option. How about uh, Smith? Let's see if we find a Smith. So here we go, John Thomas Smith. So when I open up John's record, now notice it'll populate the fields here, but over on the right-hand side as well, his information gets populated as well. And it shows his first, last suffix, all the things I put, board member, Mr. and Mrs. John Smith as a salutation, or the address and salutation shows their address and everything. Now in the event I wanted to change something on this record, I have the ability of jumping to his record by using this little arrow button. You see that right there? If I just click it, it will actually take me to his record. Now a lot of people might have been taught you can make changes right here to a constituent record. Technically you can, but it's much more efficient to come over to the physical record itself and actually make the changes however you want. So if there's a change of address, you change it here, change of salutation, change it here, hit save and close, and it will be reflected over on the right hand side. So I'm gonna go in and put, say, well, it's not important, you figured it out. The same thing goes with organizations. Right now, I put in an individual and you could see the fields that populate. If I wanted to, I can come over and change the fields for an organization as well. And so if I put in an organization, you probably want things like the contact name. So let's go down and say, uh, contact name, is the employee, is the primary, uh, the position, do you want to print organization with name? And you could do these things like the contact salutations. This is a huge area where a lot of people forget to put those in because it's actually not on a record. It's on a uh, relationship record for an organization. So I'm going to say OK. And now in the event I go put in an organization, uh, the organization field would populate. Well, I hope that helps. And for all your training needs, check out Razor's Edge for Rookies. And hopefully that tip was useful. Thanks for watching.